What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. This is one that I've been meaning to do for quite a while, and that is the uh, Cardass Pocket Monster file cards. Uh, so let's just get right into it. We have our first one, Bulbasaur. Oof, on the grade. Oof, uh, we got a good two. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of reason for that. And uh, yeah, so I actually have um, mixed feelings about having all these cards graded, uh, primarily because of these low grades. And uh, so long story short, or I don't know how short it'll be, I picked up the entire set or all 151. I do not have the checklists or promo cards, uh, but here we have one of the first big ones. We got the Venusaur. All right, look at that. So some of them are foil. And uh, so the poses, um, the reason I really like these cards is it's the art is very unique. Um, you know, all the poses are very different than what you see today. And it's a very different style. I couldn't tell you exactly why, but it almost feels like, oh, we got Charmander right here. Um, you know, these were kind of like the original arts and then what we know as the normal arts kind of started coming in and you know just very different ways to depict all the Pokemon. Uh, here we have Charmander and breathing fire doing some kind of a weak flamethrower attack looks like. Uh, here we have a five. I actually don't know what this MK is. Um, yeah I'll have to look that up. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, so I purchased the entire set on eBay and eventually got them all in. Here we have Charmeleon. Once again, like Charmeleon, he looks very, you know, all like the features are primarily the same, but very different uh, feel as far as the art goes. This Charmeleon feels like, I feel like um, they feel much more like wild animals, which, you know, Pokemon kind of are. And this one, you know, relies on its claws for defense and looks very sharp. It feels like there are aspects that kind of got toned down in the way that all the Pokemon are depicted now. All right, we do got the big boy Charizard. This one actually did get a okay grade of a near mint seven. So there's one to get one of the, unfortunately one of the higher grades uh, would be the Charizard, of course. Once again, a very different pose. Um, I guess like the neck and actually the ratio for all like the body parts I feel are very different as well. Uh, but we did get a, for this submission, one of the higher grades on the Zard. Let's start the turtles. Good old Squirtle. Squirtle, very cute. And I mean, not the best art. We got an excellent mint seven. The War Turtle fetching the four, coming in with a headbutt. I'm not sure what these uh, diamond things are supposed to be. It looks like it's like, oh, maybe it's bouncing off, saying that the headbutt is really hard, that a diamond will bounce off. I don't know. All right, now the big boy, big boy turtle, Blastoise. Once again, very unique pose. Um, I do like how this one is, you know, firing those those water cannons. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing with his hands. Looks like he's like telling himself to attack. <laughs> like Blastoise use Hydro Pump. All right, now we're gonna move on to some of the uh, Pokemon that I don't mind talking about, like how I came about these cards. Uh, so I picked up the entire set um, on eBay from Japan. Took a while to get here. Uh, oh jeez. All right, another segue. Um, again. A very different way to depict the Pokemon. Here we have the Metapod and it's gray versus green. Uh, I wonder if this is just how at one point, maybe circa 1997, how they envisioned uh, this Pokemon to be and then you know the Metapod that we know we know and love uh, came shortly after and I feel like this is another good example. Here's Butterfree. Oh a poor one. Oh my. Uh, but yeah, Butterfree, he looks very sad. Uh, in, I mean, even the wing, how the wings are kind of down, um, you know, just very different uh, to how Butterfree is seen today. But um, so the collection kind of came in this nice card ass binder made, spe made specifically for this set. And um, if you're, you're kind of new to the channel, I really love binder collections. I feel like those are the way to actually enjoy the cards. Uh, here we are going through, we're going to go through the entire set over a couple videos, um, but it's it's a hassle. I had to take them all out of those cardboard boxes that PSA sends back to you, uh, kind of queue them up, and then afterwards I want to put them back, and I don't like having slabs all over the place, so it's hard to appreciate the cards once they're graded, and a binder is just much better. Here's a classic Pokemon Pidgey doing some kind of, ah, it looks like a sand attack. 
but once again, just the, the feel of all the Pokemon is just very different. Pidgeotto shooting uh, feathers. And even the Pidgeot looks a little bit different. So with that being in mind that I appreciate binder collections much more as far as appreciating the cards, uh, and then like combined with the low grades, I do have mixed feelings about whether or not should have graded these. I will say though that this was prior to, you know, when they bumped up the prices. So as far as getting cards graded, I got it for like the best possible price at that time, or especially with, um, you know, what they are now. Radicate, very different look. Like this thing actually just looks like a, a rat that you might find it trying to bite something or it maybe looks like a hamster actually so that's the first 20 of the first stack we're gonna go through the first 80 of the set here we have spiro uh not too much to be said about this one uh, but yeah a little bit different feel there firo i actually do like how firo is depicted here uh, i feel like firo especially given its name it's not very um intimidating pokemon but here you know with that huge beak and if it were to do like a spinning dive or i'm not sure why it's going up uh that would be pretty scary in my opinion and definitely uh worthy of the name firo and uh i actually got one of the better grades with a new mint seven Ekans looks like using the leer attack uh oh that's another thing you know a lot of these pokemon feel like they're actually using some of their attacks that they have where a lot of the art nowadays is just like the Pokemon hanging out. There's a lot, not a lot of battling going on. I'm not sure if that's just to tone it down for kids or what, um, but uh, they kind of had that feel. And here we go. Here's a perfect example with the Arbuck, excellent five, uh, using some kind of uh, spit attack, poison, no, poison sting, this doesn't look like a sting, but some kind of poison attack on a unfortunate Diglett. Diglett's not having a good time. Uh, so I feel like this is a great example of uh, how the art may have been toned down during these original depictions. All right, we got the Pikachu, and you can kind of see it right there. The art is very different. This guy does not look, look nearly as cute. So a lot of the changes are definitely welcome. Uh, but I think it's cool just to see this. Um, again, I'm kind of speculating on why the art is so different. Um, but uh, yeah, this is you know a good example of, well, Pikachu at one point looked like this. Okay. He changed for the better. And uh, Pikachu, they already had big plans for him because like the Raichu, the Pikachu is this prism foil where the Raichu is not. And Raichu is like juggling his uh, thunder lightning shock things or whatever the text called. Let's move to Sandshrew, kicking up some dust, looks like sand attack. I would appreciate like when Sandshrew's in a ball. I think that's pretty cool. And sand slash, uh, more like a porcupine. Shooting out those like burrs or whatever. All right, I think we need to pick up the pace. We got Nidoran growling or something. <laughs> Here we have uh, Nidorina eating a Voltorb. Voltorb is uh, not really enjoying his day. And then the Nido Queen. All right, let's move on to the male. Nidoran. Not much to say here. Nidorino. No, no idea what attack this is. And then the Nido King. I mean, look at that. That that horn. That that looks like it would hurt. It looks like it's a, literally a drill. Clee Fairy using that. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the like the double slap or maybe just a slap attack. I think double slap like in the game it could hit up to twice. And then Clee Fable once again the evolution not getting the prism treatment. Just uh, you know giving him the no 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 finger. Vulpix. Vulpix actually didn't change too much. But uh, yeah, back to actually oh, nine tails here. You can definitely see uh, the difference in like the ratios of their body, I guess. This nine tails, I feel like looks much smaller than typically nine tails is depicted. We got Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff looks exactly the same. But oh man, look at Wigglytuff. Um, Probably doing some kind of hypnosis attack to Psyduck, who is not enjoying it whatsoever. Oof, good too. Uh, but yeah, back to like the whole grading thing. Um, while I always like to have like, you know, the, the levels of any collection of any completed set is like, just get them all graded. 
and then it's like, all right, well, let's start. Uh, maybe I can get a seven or eight. Eventually, like nine or I don't think I have any many things completed in like Gem Mint Ten. Uh, but yeah, step one is just having them all graded. So while I did complete that step, um, at this point now, I think rebuying this binder collection uh, would be, you know, more expensive than I think I'm willing to spend on this set. Um, and then not only that, but uh, you know, then it's like, all right, well, maybe some of them are better than these. There was a, there was a PSA one. So it puts me in a weird situation where it's like, do I want to upgrade them or do I get that, restore that binder collection? It is something I want to do, but I can't say it's very high in my priority list. Look at this Paris, like they do not make Pokemon guys like this anymore as far as the art goes. He is eating the Weedle. Parasect, oh man, Psyduck is the punching bag of the Cardass Pocket Monsters sets and some kind of spore attack on that poor Psyduck. Venonet, much there. Venom Moth, uh, looks very plain. Um, doing some kind of hypnosis attack and but you know, maybe like this art doesn't pop I guess to the original artist credit. That's what moths look like Diglett Diglett's dig holes And then Doug trio three Diglett's kind of Meowth another one where uh, you know the changes in like body part ratios I think was a change for the positive <laughs> for this one. He just looks kind of derpy Persian. It looks smaller in this art compared to how Persian is typically depicted. Ah, oh, here's that Psyduck. So Psyduck can fight back with some kind of uh, swipe or slash attack. Golduck. Uh, pretty cool pose for a Golduck, gotta say. Ooh, Mankey, look at this. I do like the Mankey art. What we got for Primate is like, oh, is this a Machamp or something? Like, what's up with all these arms? But I think they're just, you know, going. <laughs> really fast getting ready to punch very cute Growlithe <laughs> again the body ratio the, the ratios just look weird uh, but I will say he does look pretty cute then the Arcanine he looks upset all right moving on to the last stack we got the Poliwag into the Poliwhirl <laughs> that's hilarious Oh, growing up as a kid, you know, you do this kind of thing with your hands to shoot out water. <laughs> that's Poly World's attack. Uh, that's not how war Pokemon typically attack. And then the Poly Wrath just smacking his opponents around with a poor one. But yeah, so now, you know, everything's graded and I got it at a great price. Um, but yeah, I do kind of feel like, hmm, you know, it's a little harder to appreciate these cards and they are very cool. Look at this Abra, that's pretty cool. Looks like in the mid teleport. All right, this time the Poliwag is the punching bag. Here we have Kadabra using some kind of Psy attack on him. And then the Alakazam. A little underwhelming. I think there was a, maybe I passed it right. I think there was a midnight. I'm focusing on the art, less so the grades. Uh, especially when <laughs> the grades are kind of depressingly low. Machop doing low kick. Machoke, oh boy. Some kind of boulder throw. What was the attack with the boulder throw? I think Seismic Toss, like they actually tossed the Pokemon. Uh, so I'm not sure what attack that was supposed to be. And then Machamp looks like he's using his feet for some reason instead of any of his forearms. Bell Sprouts. Not sure what these lines are. Oh, look at this one. Weeping Bell. That looks like a poisonous Pokemon right there. Look at that. That uh, sludge or either that or just ate a muck. I'm not sure. And then the Victory Bell. Victory Bell is another Pokemon that I feel like is never too threatening looking. Uh, but this one looks pretty scary. If I saw it in real life, I would be terrified. Tentacool. Uh, what was that? Five. Not sure which one got. I think I think I had like one nine. An Electrode being swallowed by that Tentacool. Once again, I feel like I nowadays I envision Tentacool to be much bigger. Or maybe it all came from the that one episode on the SSN where that tentacle came out. I think it's the SSN. Uh, Geodude. Geodude looks the same. Graveler. Which just looks like a boulder. Alright, here we go. This one. They don't make a... They don't do art like this. This has to be self-destruct. 
Uh, so like the oh mid nine, there's the mid nine on <laughs> the Kamikaze Golem. Uh, very unique art, I will say that. But um, yeah, you know, they don't make them like they used to. Uh, Ponyta, actually, this Ponyta looks badass. I uh, actually could see this being a Rapidash kind of art. It reminds me of the Charmeleon art from Team Rocket, how like with the circles. All right, now here's the Rapidash. The Ponyta looked much better. And on to the last evolution we'll do for this video. We got the Slowpoke. Uh, that was not bad. <laughs> That's how I usually see uh, Slowpoke, actually. And then into the slow bro, confused as ever. As far as why these cards got graded. So that's going to be part one of this video. We'll do 81 to 151 in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, weird situation, you know, with, with uh, everything. Um, have mixed feelings, but they're already graded. Definitely not cracking my other cases. So that's it for part one of the Cardass uh, collection. PSA graded. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.